Hello everyone, my name is Ray Kowalski, I'm from SAP and I'm very excited to be here to talk to you for about 10 minutes on SAP Screen Personas and demonstrate it. SAP Screen Personas is a browser-based rendering engine for classic SAP DIN Pro screens. It provides consumer-grade personalization features that enable IT professionals, key users, and end users to simplify business application screens quickly and easily in order to improve the visual appeal, end user productivity, and performance of SAP. Personalization is everywhere. Companies are giving people new ways to buy products that are unique to them. The aftermarket for cars is a multi-billion dollar market. Apple gives people a choice of colors for buying iPods and then lets you write a personal saying on the back. Nike and Trek allow their customers to create one-of-a-kind creations, personalizing literally every single component, down to the color of the shoelaces and eyelets that attach them to the shoe. Personalization is pervasive. Design individual one-of-a-kind creations and buy products that are unique to you. But for the most part, enterprise software remains a one-size-fits-all approach. In a few seconds here, I'm going to show you how that's changed with SAP Screen Personas. And as promised, this is SAP Screen Personas. As you can see, we have an SAP screen that you may be familiar with, containing a menu with download lists that allow you to drill into a particular application. What we are going to do with this screen is first make a copy of it. I'm going to call this Demo. 89. We are in edit mode right now and we'll be editing this screen. One thing I'd like to point out is that you cannot break an SAP screen in Personas. Everything remains as it is. What we're going to be doing is moving items to the background, hiding objects, not removing them. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on a few objects here and hide them so we have a nice clean slate to work with. The next thing I'm going to do is drag down a few items I would like to reuse and rename a couple of items as well so our users can easily understand what the buttons are meant to do. And this is the help button. The remaining items I'll hide and then save uh, to create a clean canvas to work with. I'm going back into edit mode and then I'm going to bring in a background picture to add some personalization to this screen. Next, I'll add some smaller images that we can use to help label some of the other objects I may want to create. We'll start with rapid access. We put in company news. We'll move these down out of the way. And we'll add advanced access.
What I'll do now is create a couple of launch buttons to expedite and simplify access to certain screens for our users. We'll call this create sales order. DA01 for the transaction code. We'll drag it down here. Next I'll create view sales order. VA03. We'll drag that down below create sales order. I believe you get the picture of what we can do with this. Okay, I'm going to save and exit at this point in time and demonstrate a method for creating a more sophisticated button using a script. We can go back into our initial screen Click on a menu item and drill into our particular screen, then click on the record button over here which will record our keystrokes and clicks and then at that point stop it and save it to our hard drive. Go back into our screen that we were working on. There's demo 89. I have a lot of demos up here. Place this back into edit mode. Click on the launch button or the script button. Upload the script that we had just saved. Modify it if need be, tailoring it to what we would like to see happen in our new screen. And then uh, move on to our next steps. We have other functionalities above in our Personas menu bar undo, redo, and some other functions that can be demonstrated in a deeper dive workshop. Up above the menu bar is a flavor gallery that contains screens that you may have worked on or that others may have given you privilege to look at and edit. This is a good way to collaborate with your colleagues making a change to a screen having them view and edit perhaps and send back to you for further edits and then finally send over to your administrator to publish to the line of business that will likely utilize the screen you just created. What I'll do now is uh, save and exit here and then click on the finished product so you can see where I was going with. As you can see screen personas is very easy to use. Learn, deploy, making it a terrific tool to spice up your SAP screens, making your internal users excited about using SAP. It trims down on the training time and provides immediate value in terms of productivity. Please contact your SAP account executive or client partner for more information. We're very happy about SAP Screen Personas and look forward to you getting the benefit and value of this exciting tool.